Right, welcome back, Mr. G Show. Mm. Combining like terms. So today we're gonna move on. Before we learn how to combine like terms, you must first learn what a term is. You have to learn what are like terms, and then we'll learn how to combine those. So we are combining like terms. So we're gonna start with terms. You know, in algebra, what are terms? Terms They're expressions that have the form AX to the N. So they have the form AX to the N. So we have a coefficient, have a variable, have an exponent. That's one term. And sometimes we could have more than one variable. Sometimes. Let's look at some examples. What would be a term? 3x squared. A cubed. 2xy. 7. Those are all terms, right? One term, one term, one term, one term. Sometimes we can have two variables. What would be a non-example? would not be a term. This is not a term. This has two terms. So if you were to tell me 2x plus 5 was a term, I would say no, that's not quite right. Okay, That would be two terms. So then we could see we need to make a note here. single, just one thing. If we have two of them with a plus or minus in between, that's two terms. Okay. Isn't there a word for you, like by something? You're right, this would be a binomial. And we'll get there. I like that, thinking ahead. Very good. So that's what terms are. So now let's talk about like terms. Anyone good with this? Can I erase? Yes. Terms. What are like terms? Like terms have the same value or something. There we go. The same variables with the same exponents. Oh wow! Yes. Example. 3x squared and 5x squared. So these would be like terms. This term has an x, the exponent is a 2. This term has an x, same variable, the exponent is a 2, same exponent. Same variable, same exponent. <coughs> if they have the same variable, same exponent, those are like terms. Okay. So what would be some non-examples? I could spell. 
Three X and five X squared. So a three X with a five X squared. Are these like terms? No. 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 Why not? Because it doesn't have the same. Because it doesn't have the same exponents. It has the same variable, right? It has they both have an X, but they don't have the same exponent. So these are not like terms. Okay. These are. Who could give me another example? where we do have like exponents, or like terms. Give me an example of like terms. Anybody? 2x. 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 Sure. Let's make those to the third, so that these aren't the same. As so 3x to the third, and 5x to the third. These would be like terms. Same variable. Same exponent. Give me another example where they're not like terms. It's not an example. 4x to the fifth, 3x to the second. 4x to the fifth, 3x to the second. Very good. You guys get the idea? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, when we combine, we're going to get to that next. So, we learned what terms are, we learned how to identify like terms. Same variable, same exponent. So now we're going to learn how to combine like terms. Okay? Let's look at an example. plus 2x squared minus 5x cubed. The first thing you're going to do is identify your like terms. So if I look at this 3x cubed, what would be a like term? 5x cubed. The negative 5x cubed. And it's good that you identified this because we use this sign to combine it. in front of the term. So here's this term, so we use the sign in front. So this says 3 minus 5. So what's 3 minus 5? Negative. Negative 2. And we keep this the same. And we just write what's left, and you're done. That's it. Okay. So you see here, x to the third, x to the third, those are like terms, same variable, same exponent. So now that we established that they are like terms, we work with the coefficients. So 3 take away 5 is negative, negative two. 2. And we keep the x to the third the same. Then we just bring down the other terms. That's it. Normally we write them from the exponent to put it in standard form biggest exponent, then the next exponent, then the next smallest exponent, or next biggest exponent. Okay? And we'll practice standard form more when we get to polynomials. Right now we're just learning, can I identify like terms, and can I combine them? Okay. One more example, or think you got it? I got it. All right. 